Okay, so we're going to tie <coughs> the Morn Gold Shrimp, and this is a pattern uh, invented by Joe McDonald. Joe is a famous fly dresser from this area, who has invented dozens of patterns down the year here, and this is one of his most famous. So uh, this is actually going in the frame. That's the reason I'm tying it on a on a single here. But essentially, you know, tie it on whatever type of hook you want. So, the tag or tip or whatever you want to call it of this fly, we're going to use gold oval tinsel. And I'm using fine oval gold for the tag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it down to a point. Usually you take it to a point level with the uh, the barb here, or the back of the barb, but uh, given the bend on this hook, I'm just sort of going to go to a point that's sort of halfway between the point and the barb. And then I find it easier to wind if I turn the hook upside down. Okay, so uh, as per your standard shrimp fly, tail on this is a golden pheasant, red breast feather. Now, length's up to yourself. I have two feathers here, and I'm going to choose the one that's slightly longer for my own eye. Some people like to tie them much sort of shorter and stubbier. So, take our feather strip off this fluffy sort of useless bit and I'm going to hold that by the point and fold all onto one side doubling it before I wrap it. Now you can also tie it in by the tip and double it as you wrap it. I'm going to take this tip of the feather and tie it in on the top. It's going to be included in our tail fold it black and then wrap back over that to the base of the tag. So now I'm going to wrap this on. Now as you wrap it'll sort of twist itself. So I'm just using my fingers to fold it in, keep it in line where I want as I wrap. And then when I get to the bear stalk, we wrap over that. And then I'm going to use the stalk of the feather as part of the body leveling. And I'm going to wrap it up to the return eye on this hook. So get it in tight to the, to the return eye. I'm going to fold it back on itself wrap back a little bit and then fold it forward again to the return eye and hopefully that should have largely leveled out the body in that plane as you can see because we're going to wrap a, a tinsel body and I want that to be smooth. So for the body we're going to wrap uh, gold oval tinsel. I'm picking out a fairly whitish one here. What I'm going to do is tie it on on the underside. And I'm going to tie it on from the halfway point roughly where I expect my uh, middle hackle to be and then I'm going to hold it down 
and tie back as I go to I get to the tail and then on the way forward I'm just trying to even out any sort of dips or blemishes or whatever they were as you want. So you can use the rotary portion of your vise and spin this round if you want but I prefer to do it by hand. So the first turn you need to sort of fiddle back and forward with your vise until you're happy that it's in place and no gaps and then again I've turned the thing on its side here my tinsel a couple of wraps and then fold it forward and get a couple of wraps on to tighten it in place snip that off now if you're tying this for a show you can burnish this now if you want so if you take a little metal burnisher That'll just smooth out the tinsel for you. And now it's time for our middle hackle. So it's a hot orange hackle. So I'm just going to take our hackle here and double it over. its tip, fold it back, we're just going to create a little level bed there for wrapping that hackle on, and again with each wrap I'm sort of pushing it in place with my finger and thumb pinching the fibers so they lie the direction I want them to with that bit of flow then we tie that in and off And then the front section is also our gold oval tinsel. So we just repeat that process. So I'm going on the underside, starting it off just back of where I intend my head to be. And tying it down nice and even. Hackle. The same thing again, create our underbody with the uh, tying thread and then use your rotation of your vise to get that first wrap or so touching. Wrap that up and touch and turns and then tie it off at the front. Now, 
same again. Time for a fishing fly, you don't need to do this. Time to put it on a frame. It just makes the body that wee bit shinier if you burnish it. I'm going to put on some jungle cock eyes and we're going to roof them on this one. So if we take uh, our jungle cock cape and pick out one from each side that match. And then I'm going to match them up by their tips hold them by the tips and then strip off or fold back bits I don't want then set that up on the side I'm going to use these white portions to tie it in. Now some people like long jungle cocks, some people like short jungle cocks are just do whatever looks right to yourself and also I suppose with whatever jungle cock is available to you. So you can see I've tied those in on each side. For security I'll just fold those back and wrap over. Trim them off or snap them off to our suits. And then it's time for our front hackle. Now, this is a sort of a an unusual shade of hackle. It's a, <clears throat> a mixture of dyeing hackles, brown and red, and over dyeing them again, brown and red. Uh, and you'll end up with something, to my mind, is sort of like fairy brownish out of it. So I'm going to double that up. Fold it back. And I say with each turn, just guide the hackle in the direction that you want and then pinch it in place. stick out. Once we get as many turns on as we want, we'll wrap over that hackle. Make it up nice and tight. And then we're going to create our head to finish this. So I'm just going to sweep all those fibers back. as big as small as I feel like and to finish that off get some whips on and now we're going to use so I'm using a, a vineyard clear here, nice and runny, and that will penetrate into the wraps of our of our head. Set that in place. Now the varnish on. Snip off my tiny thread. 
and as and when that cures I'll put on uh, another coat of clear and possibly then another coat of uh, maybe something like Sally Hansen to finish it off so that is our Morn Gold from uh, Joe McDonald.